Now. It's been up. Yeah. All right. It's, uh, it's time to shut up now, boys. So we can actually do the briefing. Then the yes, beach over here is gonna finish you, finish to organize you. And in the meantime, Gamer is gonna get himself the kit. Now, stop aiming your weapon, please. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna have to be forced to. Uh, Rico. Rico. Yeah. All right. Nice. All right. Now, welcome. Uh, the place where we are right now, it's classified. You don't need to know. And just ignore the message that was on the screen five minutes ago. We're not there. In any case, as you can see from the trees and shit, from the environment around you, oh, something right. bad happened. Something went boom. I'm right. talking about a atomic bomb. Boom. Now, after the bombs fall, and the local village in this region was literally torn to shreds, the government flee. And after that, the civilians were on their own. No local government, no police, no uh, medical supplies, no paramedics, no hospitals, nothing. Now, knowing that this is happening, some people took advantage of that. Local gangs were created, trying to show their superiority in this region. Now, the citizens over here were promised supplies and cure. Medical supplies, food, water, and all that stuff. And that was a month ago. Keep that in mind because I'm gonna go get I'm gonna get back to you later. Now we can't really get the supplies in because we don't know what's happening down there. No recon, no UAVs, no helicopters, we don't know anything. This is where you're coming in. You're mostly gonna act as a recon team and you're gonna search the places that I'm gonna tell you. Now I'm gonna relay the places to Sergeant Beach over here, but the first place that I want you guys to search is gonna be the village. Now your objectives are gonna be to pretty much search the areas that I'm gonna tell you, check around, check the status of the civilians, and then report back to me. Now, back to what I said with the supplies. The, su the supplies were promised one month ago, and the civilians are kinda pissed, because one month, still no supplies, and people are dying out there. So many civilians are probably gonna p be pissed at any military force that's gonna enter. Now that doesn't mean shoot them. Anybody that's not a civilian is a target. You're authorized to engage anybody but a civilian. Now, keep in mind that after the bomb fucking exploded, radiation, the radiation was big. Now, the radiation level is quite minimal and it should not hurt you. But keep in mind that there are civilians out there that might be uh, under the influence of the radiation. That means don't get close to them or don't let them get close to you. You're not, and I repeat, you are not authorized to speak, to question, or to basically get too close to a civilian without permission from me or Beecher. Or, you are authorized to do that unless, I mean, when it's a, when it's in like an extreme urgency. If you see a civilian getting too close, uh, well, you can just tell him to back off. If he's not backing off, you're not going to repeat the second time. You're going to have to cap his ass. Make and that's it. Our project. Can't really do much about him. Now again. Keep in mind that the civilians might be mad at the military presence that's gonna appear soon enough. And if you see the civilians having weapons or something to shoot at you, you are authorized to return fire. Alright? Now, speaking of local gangs, do not expect heavy resistance. And by heavy resistance, I mean helicopters, attack helicopters, planes, and all that stuff. We're talking about local gangs, formal civilians. That stole weapons, supplies, and shit from the military at present that was here before. Because before us, there was a US station around here, which, as you can see, uh, I don't think it's any, any longer. Now, as I said, anybody but a civilian is a target, including the United States troops. So if you see any US troops, you are authorized to engage. Keep in mind that we're still at war with them. And that doesn't mean just because of this shit, we're not gonna engage them. And they know it, they're gonna engage back most probably. Now, after each location each of the location has been uh, controlled, Sergeant Beach over here is gonna report to me. Now keep in mind that we need to know the high command wants to know what's the status of the civilians, how they feel, what's their medical status, if they're in a very bad situation, if they're still surviving, if they're not fucking killing each other or eating each other. Now back to it. You just have to look at them and check the, the surroundings. Check buildings, 
shops, markets, but don't get too close to civilians. You don't really have to go and ask somebody to see what he's doing. You can see from the way he acts, the way he looks, and if he's not gonna shoot at you or scream at you, that's probably a peaceful civilian that still needs supplies and still needs hopes that he's gonna get saved one day. Now, after this is done, I'm gonna call in the medical supplies and the food supplies and the convoy is gonna get in here shortly. Any questions? So if they're armed, do we have full range to shoot in the face? If they're armed and they're uh, an imminent danger to you, yeah, you're authorized to cap their ass. Hey, Brad, all right, you can speak now, Brad. Hello there. What was last intel on U.S. presence in the area? Like, what did they have? What did they expect? It was two months ago. So the bomb fell three months ago. Two months ago, all the U.S. forces, from what we know, left the area. Right now, we don't really know if they have any more missions around, but we don't think they're going to have any other more missions in this shithole because everything is destroyed around here. Now, what they had over here, from what we know, it's small arms, vehicles, MRAPs. We don't know about any attack helicopters or helicopters or jets. And in the worst case scenario, APCs, which again, might be stolen. So, be careful. Any more questions? Uh, do we have any knowledge of high radiation areas? What is up right now? So what we know is that the radiation levels went to a minimum one week ago. It should be safe for us all to just uh, hang around, but don't get too close to the main explosion or the main blast zone, which is over here. We don't want to like, uh, we don't want to try. Nobody went through there to check it out. But the, the other area, sh like, the whole, this whole area should be safe from radiation. Unless you're getting too close or let the civilian make contact with you. Again, don't make contact with the civilians. Questions? If you don't have any questions, well, be sure with the briefing you have, you can just uh, get the rest of the team set up, make yourself a plan. And again, the first target is going to be the village. My recommendation is to stick together as much as possible. Try to have teams of two while you're trying to get into a building or anything. And if you're gonna have to split up, well, you have to be extra careful because again, we don't know what's down there. We have not sent anybody but you. You're gonna be the first ones which are gonna do it. Any more questions? If not, be sure you got them. Just gonna back off real quick. I think right, that's our main objective. Our main objective is basically going to go towards the village, I'm marking up as OBJ-1, at grid coordinates 0080111. We're going to be checking out the civilians uh, about their status, if they need any any medical supplies, any supplies, and I'll be radioing in uh, command about their current status. Just watch your fire for any hostiles, hostiles being uh, civilians armed or US, uh, U.S. forces. Now, it's pretty simple that what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to have Pratt's team. Pratt, we're going to have your team moving on uh, as uh, forward, uh, forward team, while the Greenwood team is going to be uh, operating as second. So uh, we're going to be operating as the uh, QRF for your, for your team. Hmm... Any any other questions? Any guy, uh, anything else you guys want to ask? All right, then I guess we're ready to move out then.